This is where it all started. During the days of slavery, at the end of the crop, after a long season of reaping the canes, the slaves were allowed to make merry, have a little bit of the rum, and enjoy themselves. And this is the actual basis of the Crop Over Festival. It all gets started with the ceremonial delivery of the last cane. A beautifully decorated donkey cart making its way to Applewitz Plantation, St. Thomas, for the ceremonial start of Crop Over. This is the Barbados landship leading the procession. Followed, of course, by the international troubadours, Chuck Band, Seaman on Penny Whistle. The Sons of God Apostolic Church. Bringing up the rear, led by Archbishop Granville Williams. Uniquely Barbadian, this is Crapover. Large crowd on hand at the plantation yard to witness the blessing of the last delivery of canes. One of the thousands of visitors in Barbados for the festival getting a bird's eye view of the great performance from the spiritual Baptists of Barbados. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Yeah, God is a good God. Yeah, he lift me up and turn me around. Yeah, God, good God. Yeah, he this is the queen of the crop. Neath the Phillips of Mount Gay Plantation, St. Lucie, being crowned, and her counterpart, Edley Ashton, also of Mount Gay Plantation, St. Lucie. Well, Doug, you know, I really wish you were here to see this. The King George Park Cultural Village. This is a very nostalgic moment for many Barbadians. And uh, the landship organization, you know, it's over a hundred years old. And it all got started when a retiree from the Merchant Marines, he just couldn't stand to be separated from the regimentation of the Marine Service. Therefore, he tried to create the landship organization to recreate all of the activities that happened on sea. And they do it here on land. Watch them as they go through some of their motions. Yeah, pull the riggers down, pull the riggers down, pull the riggers down. This is what you call the rock now. This is solid rock. I will ask this officer to arrest all those who are gambling on this ship. This ship is nowhere to gamble. Please arrest them, officer. Oh, these and rights are very nice upon a rainy day. And when you go to out the fire, the sparkles send us bun you. Not a spoon upon the table, not a fork upon the table, not a towel to wipe my face. I got the kinchy diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea. I got the kinchy diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea, diamond tea. I got the kinchy diamond tea. John Belly, Mama, think the cassava. John Belly, Mama, Belly. Water, 
Hey, you all be careful with that. And you know, you know, it's a strange thing. You know, even today in 1993, people don't know the meaning of the lesbian. A lot of people don't know what it means. A man from St. George, Mr. George Posse is right there. Right? A man from St. George went in a bar and he's gone chasing this woman, gone up to that woman, God, and this and that. And he said, I'm a lesbian. No? The man said, What's a lesbian? And you must holler, See that woman over there? I would like to see her cross her clothes. And she went through the whole thing, what she wanted to do with you. And the man started crying. He said, well, I was excited like I was a lesbian, too. <laughs> but he's six years now, he married, and I ain't even checked my wife out to see what color it is. The man who's on rock show, when he get home, wife sleeping. I mean, sleeping strong, you know, snoring. And he do some pee right there, he's all, you know. And he holler, boom! And the man on the bed holler, you got one. 